Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, we're just a few hours away from more comfortable feeling weather conditions out there. It's been about it counted about four weeks since we've had a nice significant break in humidity. Yeah, we've seen temperatures come down out of the 90s, but boy, it's still been very uncomfortable out and that's no exception tonight. Temperatures across the metro for the most part still hovering close to 80 degrees here at this late hour. Westchester 80 Mason at 79. It's 80 in Blue Ash 79 in Sharonville College Hill coming in at 77 Dale High tonight still close to 82 at 78 and 80 across the river in Fort Mitchell. Radar is on the quiet side, but you know what? It's a little deceptive. While I don't think we'll see a lot of additional rain overnight tonight, I'm not going to rule out a few more downpours popping up before between now and let's say sunrise in the morning as a cool front sneaks its way across the area. Right now at the airport, 77 degrees. You can still see, look at that humidity up there near 94% with a light wind out there. It really does feel like we're in the tropics or maybe even South Florida tonight. That's going to be gone by this time tomorrow. Temperatures outside tonight again across the entire area pushing 80 in Springboro, Hamilton pushing 80 still, 77 in Wilmington, 75 Georgetown and Dillsboro. So it's going to be a warm night across the area and don't expect much relief from humidity tonight. You're really going to have to wait until about mid morning tomorrow before we get a significant drop in those humidity levels. So this is what we have going on tonight. We have a cold front that's straight from about Toledo to Indianapolis to St. Louis, and you see ahead of that cold front, we still keep getting even at this late hour, some little spotty downpours that develop. So, you know, a good weatherman, a good meteorologist rule of thumb, you know what? You never take the rain out of the forecast completely until the cool front passes, and that's not going to happen until about daybreak on your Saturday. Behind that, though, some drier air resides, and that's what's going to filter its way in here for tomorrow. Look at our dew points. Now, let me show you along the Ohio River. You see we are solidly in the mid-70s. We're still in the very tropical air. However, once you reach the southern Great Lakes, Detroit, now down towards Fort Wayne, even over towards Chicago, you can see those dew points dropping into the low 60s. That's that much more comfortable air that in time is going to build its way towards the Ohio River and bring a nice weekend to the area. So here's a look at future cast. You saw a couple of spotty showers will develop between now and 7 a.m. I don't think there will be much, but I can't rule out a few raindrops through the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, we'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies. It will still be muggy when you wake up. However, by about mid morning, as northerly winds begin to pick up and we develop a good deal of sunshine throughout the afternoon, Saturday is going to turn out to be a very pleasant afternoon, especially by the time you get towards 3, 4 o'clock. And that beautiful weather is going to stretch right on into Sunday for us and probably even into Monday. So overnight tonight, again, quiet for the most part, but I won't take a downpour off the table, though. Muggy for the low of 72. And then for tomorrow, expect coming sunny. Humidity drops. Look for a high of around 85. Here's a look at your day planner. 72 at 8 a.m. By lunchtime, we'll be in the low to mid 80s as the humidity begins to drop and we'll cruise our way into the mid 80s for the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. You know it's a nice looking weekend in August when you have highs in the mid 80s, nighttime lows down into the mid 60s. So again, a significant drop in humidity expected. And then it looks like, well, by the time we get to the middle of next week, it is August. So heat, humidity, and pop up summer storms will return by late Tuesday and Wednesday. But the weekend looks good. That's what we have to focus on, right? Yep. <laughs> and the weekend's already started. It's <laughs> That's Saturday. Right. We got to get to it. <laughs>